So I just left the house and forgot the drone. Why is the drone important? Because the drone provides us shots like this. So after years of abuse, my knees are the weak link. No matter what I do, I've got resulting injuries that just keep on reoccurring, keep on coming up. But that's why I wear these Moto style Mobius knee braces. So I can go out on day long adventures and pedal on these things all day long. But what I want to do is re-mention the same exact list because these are also the things I'm not going to let me hold back from doing the things that I love. On the new helm, I got a D-lock front axle, which is just amazing. Matching colors for everything else that I have is Cane Creek. So we're actually gonna do a quick walk around, a quick walk around of what we're about to hit. I'm just gonna hit it blind and see how it goes. There's gonna be a couple of gap jumps here coming all the way down. So I just wanna walk it so you get an idea of what it looks like from this direction going blind. Jeremy's over there and he can tell you that I haven't hit any of it. I've all hit this blind. So here's a gap here. Um, Going over here, there's another good size gap. And this one's pretty good size right here. So roughly we're gonna guess three, six, nine, somewhere between 12 and 15 foot gap right there. That's a step up. Here's the breezeway. There are some other jumps that are in between here. We'll probably get to those later in the video, but we're just gonna go do a quick blind send here. So here's in the middle. Here's a, a step down. Everybody loves a good step down. Here's another step down. It's more like a hip step down with a gap. Um, so all these are gonna be very full speed commits. You probably get away with the case, not too bad, but I'm gonna go for the full huck there. Cross this gap. It's almost like a little bike park. And then here's the first squirrel catcher for this line. Because there's a tree gap. Uh, Pretty good size. They're all kind of about the same size, really. It probably looks like one, two, you know, 18, 20 feet gap there up over the log. So we're gonna see how she goes. We're gonna uh, set up a few cameras where these bigger spots are at and uh, go from there. Strap on the full face so I can get the uh, POV. Okay, legitly first run, full face with the camera on, the bike, the gloves. Now we gotta get over there somehow. Okay, so I'm about to amp up the stupid. And we got another camera here. We got a GoPro sitting there. I think I'm gonna mic up for this. And uh, this big jump line, it's over here behind us over there that we already walked by before. And we're gonna see how that goes. I don't need that, that, and that, and this, and this. And yeah, yeah, so I got a GoPro for the helmet. I got a mic, I'm gonna mic up for the run so you can hear some tire noise. And we're gonna uh, see how she goes first runs with the uh, big bike uh, on the GoPro but we got a third person with the Panasonic from my man Tim here happy to be here so we're going on the DJ see if it feels any better oh this bike is so tiny in comparison it's wild God. okay okay there's two I'll feel it all right we're gonna give it another go Really committing to that berm in the corner. But you can pump out that roller either way, you know? All right. 
So, so we get out to the dirt jumps. I was gonna do some maintenance out here. Um, it's rainy. It's a good day to start packing some dirt in and fixing stuff. Everything I did before looks really good. So I was super stoked out here. I brought uh, my buddy Cole with me. I'm gonna slap some shovel, put some work in. But we got some disappointing news. Check out what happened here. So there's a big tree down here. About to be in the way point of clearing here. There's not many trees in this spot in the woods. But then this happened over here. And this thing is, there's two trees. Look at that, I didn't even see the second tree. Look at that. Right down the middle of the jump line. There's the jump, it's in the lip of the fourth jump. Telephone pole ripped in half. It's kind of weird they have a telephone pole that's like way out here. Um, Here's that, so let's walk around. That's a whole tree right through the jump line there. You can see, boom, and there's a jump before it. Trails covered in debris, dirt, and all that, so. Maybe we can figure out a way to trench this and shoot this water off of this way. So it's like water shoots down through here, through here, and it's a midway point of just high output. Really not big on these power, power line uh spots here i mean that's full-on power line action there Whew. tree goes all the way up i wonder how much it crossed the trail up there but this is like right in the middle of a jump and like it's uh i guess technically you could probably still jump over it but it would definitely add some fear factor considering the entire jump has been smushed in by that tree Let's, uh, I think it went all the way across the top there. I mean, this is a big tree, that's for sure. So what do you think? I think that we should not mess with anything. Call the power company and let them know they have lines down. Like, let's, let's see what, if what we were coming to work on and we can get around. Don't touch any of the cables. What we were coming to work on is up here. So if this, this area is not bad, but it's kind of, you can't really ride this line without hitting those power lines and the power lines are way far down. But what we were coming to work on was this right here. We were coming to work on this landing and I wanted to take dirt from here and put it up here because all this is really not getting utilized and make this bank bigger where it's a cup where you can land into it. And then we were going to shift the dirt from down here put it up here and make this more of a, a cup action. So you could dig into that after this big jump and shoot this way. And then right here, this tree made it pretty close to the jump we were already working on. So that tree's there and stopped right at the edge of this situation. There's some more down stuffed and tree branches here. I think we might have to worry, call the power company, get them out here to worry about that power line uh, I think we might go, I might dig somewhere else this afternoon, see if I can't find a spot to uh, do some digging, because I still want to dig. Let's go ahead and stay tuned. Uh, maybe we'll find somewhere else to go do some jumps and stuff at, because we're really kind of SOL right now with the power situation, because I'm not going to get electrocuted, and I don't have anything, I have no knowledge of high voltage power lines. How about you? Do you have any information about that to keep us safe? Nope. Okay, so we're making the decision. Gloves. He's got rubber gloves on. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get out of here and call the power company and see what they can do because I ain't trying to die today. Not today. So let's find somewhere else. So I hope you guys liked my first session at the dirt jumps. That was my first chance going there with a bike. I had been there and seen the jumps before, but just wanted to check them out. And it was amazing to go out there and hit all these features and all these jumps and clean them all. I didn't get to do any tricks over any of the jumps. Do you guys have any tricks you'd like to see over those dirt jumps? I'm not really big about doing tr tricks or like a step down in most park stuff. All the jumps are step downs. So I think I'll be leaving my tricks to the actual dirt jumps. What do you guys want to see? What, what's your favorite trick you want to see done on the dirt jumps? Within reason. I'm not doing backflips. Um, I haven't done any tail whips or anything like that. But just your average everyday tricks that you might want to see me do. 
One of the uh, good things that came from all this is I actually went back out to the dirt jumps to kind of just see what was going on. I went out there for a maintenance day because I knew that the jumps could probably use a little work because they always can use work, work because the jumps are maintained by the riders, not maintained by someone. They're actual everyday people are out there putting the shovel in the big time. And if that's clearing drains or if that's um, clearing branches or debris, clearing the trail off, uh, re-slapping in some dirt on the lips and landings because the rain will beat it down. Just doing whatever you can and not just being somebody that comes there and rides the dirt and does what they want to. Another big change to this video is I kind of let a little bit more of myself out there for you guys. Every video, you guys are always asking for me to be more of myself and let more of my personality out. And you see that on other channels. And well, here's my go with that. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure to leave some comments down below. Thank you for all the sharing. And if you haven't subscribed, go and subscribe. Big shout out to my sponsors with Cane Creek and Box Components. I'll be doing a bike check to cover everything I have from them. Uh, I also started working with uh, PNW Components for a cockpit setup. So I've done some changes to my bike that really made uh, it, it really amazing. There's gonna be things I do in my bike check. I'm gonna highlight the upgrades that really made the difference. And you might be surprised at what I really think made the difference in the upgrades and changes that I've done in my bike because there's definitely a top three that really changed the way that I ride the bike, the way I feel about the bike, and like the confidence and comfortability on the bike that I have. So don't forget, pedal a little harder and don't touch those brakes.